I don't want to buy a vacant building. Yeah, I, uh, my name is Henry. I was calling you about a property you have on f Okay, well, what about it? I was calling you because I run a small investment company and uh, we're looking to expand the business. And I was curious if you'd be open to uh, selling the building. That goes for six million. Six, so, six million? Yeah. Okay. Uh, look, I'm curious, Martin. Is the building going to be sold vacant or is that... It's vacant. It's vacant. Okay. How high are the ceilings? 16. 16 feet. Okay. And is there any office space in there, or is it just strictly warehouse? Uh, yes, it is office space. Gotcha. Like a little bit? Like a couple thousand feet? No, no. It has like a 2,000 square feet of, uh, of office. You said 2,000? Yeah. All right. And then, just curious, would I, would you allow me to rent the building before I close? If I allow you to what? I'm trying to buy the building occupied, right? Like I have a, I have a, a, pos a couple tenants that I'm looking to market the property to, to, to occupy it so that they can pay me rent before I close. Does that make sense? I don't want to buy a vacant building. Would you allow me to do that? Yeah, no, you already sound fishy. I mean, why? You first you ask me if the building is vacant. Yeah, it, it looks like because it looks like it's vacant. I'm not looking. I'm looking to buy an occupied building, and it's just that's why. Uh, you know, I run it. Look, I run a small investment company locally, right? We buy buildings like this all the time. Ideally, we look for occupied properties where people pay rent, and my investors can make a modest return. I'm not trying to occupy the building myself, if that makes sense. No, you sign the contract, then you know we talk. Okay, that's no, that's fine. I, I'm not, a, I'm not trying to do anything before I sign a contract. I, I'm just saying, it, once we sign a contract, you would be open to something like that. Of course. Okay. Uh, let's see, let's see first. If you're really interested, let me know. Okay. Well, look, I am very interested. Is this your, is this your cell phone, Martin? Okay, I just wanted to make sure I could shoot you a text here. I got to run some numbers. Let me see how, how much I would be able to pay for the building. I know what you're looking for. I'll see how close I can get to that price. Were you buying this to occupy it yourself or like to rent it out or what? No, no, I, I, I occupy it myself. Oh, you occupy it yourself for your business? Yeah, okay. Got it. Okay, I mean, look, I mean, again, just to clarify, I mean, if I was able to pay cash, close fast, make it easy for you, what do you think is the best price you'd be able to do here? I don't know. It's, it's six, uh, six million, so that's the price. Well, six million, you know, for a building like this would be, what, $300 a square foot? That's not my problem. I already told you my price, so if you don't want to pay that... No, I'm just asking questions. Martin, I'm not trying to waste your time. I'm just asking questions, my friend, right? Well, because I, 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 I can build a brand new warehouse for $300 a square foot. So I'm saying if I buy something existing, you know, we typically have, like, we've we've worked on deals in locally in town for 180 to $200 a square foot, which we feel like is a fairly, you know, fairly good price. Unless you think I can rent the building for, like, $40 a square foot. I cannot make no predictions on your own stuff. You know, you want to hire me as a manager, I maybe rent it for you, but, you know, that this is on your own. After you own yeah. the building, I, I have no more longer business with you or the building. I understand. So, well, the reason why I'm asking is I'm, I'm just trying to get a better gauge of the building. But listen, I'm not, I'm not trying to waste your time. I, I hear you loud and clear. No, no, I know. But, but I'm, look, I, I'm in the middle of the drive in, you know, so send me a message, send me an email, then I thank you. Okay. Sounds like a plan, Martin. I appreciate it very much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Hi. Uh, good morning. I was transferred over to you. I was speaking with a lady about one of the properties that you guys own. and Yeah. Yeah. I was telling her that I have a family office partner that is going through a 1031 exchange right now, and we were just curious if ownership would consider an offer. Well, we consider it. We don't have it on the market. Yeah, of course. Their exchange? their exchange right now is between 10 and 15, but we're looking at multiple properties. And uh, so anyways, uh, you know... If it is something that you guys might consider, we wanted to see if you have a conversation. Well, I can think about it. I don't know. I don't have it on the market. I have a partner. I mean, if your partner was... Sale, the price at. <laughs> yeah, I yeah, totally get it. I mean, was there an offer that maybe kind of piqued your interest or something that you just completely said would not work, just so we have an idea? Yes, probably around like three and a half. Like it. Is it fully leased out or is it is it one tenant? Yeah, Okay. How many bays do you have? And you're renting them out about fifteen hundred a pop. I mean, so you probably yeah. Yeah. okay, a little like thirteen hundred square feet a bay or something like that. Fifteen hundred. Yeah. And these, I'm, I'm assuming these aren't triple net leases. They're probably just modified gross. No, no, they're gross. Yeah. Are they just on short-term lease, like month-to-month -month leases, because you guys want it? 
you think they'd be open to longer term leases if someone purchased the property or is it they just don't they want they don't want to sign for longer than a month they're a little tenant the tenant the lease won't be good really just something they pay what you can do but they can't pay yeah. they probably would sign leases all of them I think but it's not going to work in a cap rate I mean there's not much no, no, no. Yeah, I, I, I'm just looking right now. Basically, the price per square foot at this point, the ceiling heights. I mean, how high are your ceilings? Fifteen feet. Is this a concrete construction or is it metal? Steel, steel joist, block. And uh, do you have any vacancy there, or is it just fully leased? I think the full at the moment. I don't manage it. My partner manages, but I think the full at the moment. Okay. Estimate revenue. The two of us. Just curious. I mean, if we were able to bring, you know, get close to that number, would you guys consider holding paper in case that you know we wouldn't be able to do any type of leverage on the deal if it's not uh, they're all month to month leases? Yeah, I do. Financial about that. What, what would you probably need down if it was like a three and a half million purchase price? Thirty. Thirty percent. So your revenue on this property then right now at fifteen hundred a bay, and uh, uh, you got five, I think. And I know that you said it's you know we're not looking at a cap rate deal for us because it's not long term leases, but it's essentially if you were to say it was a cap rate just on the current income, it's around a four point seven, correct? What's the best email to shoot something over to? I know you need to talk to your partner, but you know let's say he does say yeah, we can entertain it. Okay, and you're gonna you said you're gonna talk to your partner. I mean, when when do you think? Over the weekend, got it. So if I don't hear back from you by Monday, I'll just give you a call and see uh, see where you're at. Yeah, but everything for sale, I just gotta make sure that part stays safe. Of course, I completely understand. Well, I'll, I'll give you a call back on Monday if I don't hear back from you, and this is my sale, so I'll just shoot you a quick text to yours if you have my number, and then I'll shoot, send you an email. Yeah, where are they looking? Well, they're, we're looking all across the East Coast right now. You have any other properties all, along the East Coast that we could look at? I definitely like to take a look at that. What's the address? What's the address? What were you looking for on this property? Definitely. Still in the house. Income and ceiling heights. The net's around 450000 Yeah, one half. Okay, let What is your lease rate? You said $15 a square foot triple net? Yeah, yeah, about $20. And so you guys are looking for around a six cap, which is? 435 Yeah. Mm -hmm. A little less than a six. Yeah, not as close. That's one that you guys would 100% consider an off on at this at this moment. Yeah. Okay. Would you also consider the seller financing same structure? And and is that another one that you guys may consider if we put a substantial amount down, we could you could hold some paper to get to that purchase price. Right. So you have one vacancy and then the ceiling heights. Just so I know, what is the ceiling heights here? Fifteen. Perfect. Let me do some numbers here and see if I can speak with my team and, and see what they say on trying to put an offer here before you guys put this out to market. Property get called South Florida. Of course. Yeah. Everyone's looking for South Florida. Yeah. So I'll uh, I'll go ahead, like I promised, I'll shoot you a text and then send you an email. And then in the meantime, just you know, talk to your partner, see if that's something we can move on. And then by Monday, we can really try to put something in front of you. All right. Thanks, David. Have a good yeah. one.